Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Celtic video on the channel. Uh, before we get into the video, guys, before we get into the video, guys um, thank you for 1.3 thousand subscribers we hit this morning, actually. Um, really good to hit. Um, uh, really nice to hit that. Um, thanks to the support guys on the channel. Obviously, if it wasn't for the support guys on the channel, you know, it wouldn't be you know, where we are today. Um, in today's video, guys, um, we're going to take today's video, as you've seen from the title and probably thumbnail as well, Celtic are to face FC Michelin's in JUFA Champions League qualified tie round two. Um, the Hoops are scheduled to play the first leg at home um, in July, with the return leg a week later on the, uh, July 20th. The, the home game at Parkhead is on the tw July 20th to 21st. So the dates are basically obviously scheduled, with the return leg a week later on July 27th or the 28th, com confirmation of both fixtures to, obviously, um, to come. Um, it will be Celtic's first meeting with FC Mitzland, who finished second in the Danish League, um, in the Danish League uh, last season, and who have former Celtic Eric Sviachenko in their ranks. Obviously, a couple of days ago, or even today, last night, it broke out that Celtic have been heavily linked with a um, Eric Sweetchenko going back to Celtic, so it'll be interesting to see. Obviously, they were talking about it on uh, on Twitter about the Daily Record about saying, you know, Celtic are ever linked with bringing Eric back to Celtic, but obviously it will be kind of weird, you know. It, it, there'll be a, a block in the middle if obviously if Celtic get Michelin in the Champions League qualifiers, and they did, have they have. So yeah, the home. The home leg is going to be interesting, so you've got to get off to a good start. Michelin are a decent side that you cannot say um, they're not a bad. They're not. They're, you cannot say they're a bad side because they're, they're a decent side. Um, you get some good players. They got Champions League last season. I know they played against Liverpool and all that stuff. I remember. I know they qualified for Champions League last season. So Celtic must. They must look to Michelin and think. We 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 must be. Uh, you must think like they're not. Celtic players must think like. We're not bigger than them. Just got to face them. Either. Just go out and win the game. That 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 is simply that. To be honest, you just got to go out there and play the game you want to play. Instead of thinking, oh, we're going to easily beat them, right? And and just laying back and slight passes and all. We've done that before. Previous season there, Freds Varos. Late late season before that, 2019-20. Kluge. I'm just saying. I, I'm just saying, right? We, we, we cannot just lay back and not think about this game. This game is very important, especially now we've got a manager in Ange Postacoglu, his first taste of European football qualifiers. Recent years, of course, as I explained, not been successful. Can Big Ange do something? We'll find out. Um, first tie at home at Paradise is going to be on the 20th, uh, 21st of July. Um, not long to that. I'm interested to see how we play and all that stuff, but... It'll be our, obviously we've got pre season first and then we've also got these champs and qualifiers. It'll be interesting to see, as I say, um how Ange lines up um against Mitchell and you know, all these links are signings and all that stuff. It'll be interesting to see, um, as I said, how we do perform against Mitchell. Um it'll be crucial, um, because now also there's two legs now. Unlike um last season because of the virus was like that back like just going back to football, there was only one leg. There's two legs now, back to the usual. Um, so Celtic just have to get a the home tie. You're looking for a, a few of the managers. Celtic began just going to say, get out there, perform very well. Just get hold the ball. You know what I mean. Um, score if you can. <laughs> you know, put the ball in the back of the net. Or it's um, put the ball. Get get us a couple of goals. You're hoping either you want to win. You you certainly do not. You certainly don't want to concede. Conceding at home and giving Mitchell an away goal is very, very bad, man. Like, it's it, it's crucial not to concede an away goal. Uh, that that that's the crucial thing. Um, but yeah, that that that's it, guys. Um, thanks, guys, for watching. Subscribe and like. Um, it's just a wee bit about I'm telling you about all Celtic's Champions League opponents are for the second qualifying round of the Champions League. Um, I'm not actually too sure, but Rangers have. Um, I am not actually too sure, but. Um, yeah, um, you have a chance to qualify in round two. We have FC Mitchell, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the lake. Peace.